The Safari Sevens Rugby Tournament held every year marks the end of the Rugby Seven circuit for the National Sevens Rugby Team and is a major event in Kenya's sporting calendar. Kenya's in the finals. Shuja gave us a good run for, the, for, for, our, for our money in the semi finals, and I think uh, it's, it's been a very good show from them. They uh, showed what they, what they can do on a, on a given day. So we are happy that that's the they case. Having 24 players in the, the semi finals is not a joke. We want to make it bigger, better. Well, we believe that uh, Safaricom Sevens is the best in Africa. After nearly a decade with a previous title sponsor, this year Safari 7 saw a change of guard with Safaricom taking over from long-standing title sponsors. There seemed to be some sort of relationship between the 7s and Safaricom. When I, when I first went to the, uh, the, Safaricom, uh, the Safari 7s, when, uh, you know, three, four years ago, I said I really would like to sponsor this. Because it sounded so good, you know, the Safari 7s, Safari Com 7s, it sounded so good. It was a great match, it was a great attendance, it was very popular. And it would be great for Safari Com to sponsor it. The partnership between the Rugby Football Union of East Africa and Safari Com spawned the most successful Safari 7s ever. Safaricom's sponsorship of the annual Sevens Rugby Tournament has brought lasting changes, not only to the tournament, but to the venue. This one's brilliant, by far the best. They've got the new stands up, everything's going brilliantly. Mm -hmm. We try to make an environment in which it would be safe for families to, to come there, so that, uh, you know, so that they could have an opportunity to bring their children there and, and it would be a nice environment. Set against the backdrop of the new partnership, a dramatic battle unfolded at the RFUEA grounds, culminating in Kenya's first seven clashing with the emerging box for the top honours of the three-day event. You can't hear anything. Bernardo Botta was taking no prisoners. Kenya still regroup. Brian Ikuli. Kayange. That is after step and speed. Kayange. Oh, he's gone. Will he go all the way? Liana Dongo on the outside. Will Liana Dongo score? <laughs> we want to start by Kenya. It feels great uh, every time we go into a tournament. We want to go and keep on and win and keep on winning. We've been doing that so far, so we're feeling great. They're in the top six in the world, you know, so that says a lot. They're real athletes. They've probably just got to provide a bit more consistency when they're looking to play the lesser teams to perform at that higher level because when they play the All Blacks or the, the Springboks or anyone like that, they lift their game 200%, so they need to play that all the time. Safaricom and Kenya Rugby Union won the Sponsorship of the Year Award for the 2010 Safaricom Sevens at this year's Public Relations Society of Kenya Award Ceremony held in November. We're getting better teams. Yeah, the level of competition is definitely going higher. The impact of Safaricom's sponsorship was felt across the entire event by players, spectators and officials. The fact that there's proper stands uh, coming in now and there's investment being left in the grounds, that makes, that makes the, whole, the whole difference. We have the digital score yeah. for a change. Uh -huh. There are very many good changes. With Safaricom coming on board, I can see a, a bright, brilliant future. The partnership between RFUEA and Safaricom is not limited to this year's tournament alone. We learnt a lot of lessons, but I think we could just make it better and bigger. You know, it would be nice if we could get more people there on the stands. 
Safaricom support for the Safari 7s goes beyond the three-day tournament and extends to a commitment to grassroots rugby in the low-income neighbourhoods surrounding the RFUEA grounds. We insist that a certain amount of the gate takings go back into rugby, not just into that day's event. So it goes into the rugby union coffers for the development of rugby. By doing community rugby, we believe that uh, we will take rugby to the lowest, perhaps, uh, uh, areas that um, we have been ignored for a long time. This year's Safaricom 7s broke records for attendance, despite being Safaricom's debut with a three-day tournament. the Safaricom 7s, the future can only get bigger and brighter.